art friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Tony Hunt, and I have a quick little new product swatching video for you. It's not going to be a long one, but recently on Prime Day, I picked up a couple of the Supervision, they call theirs layering, diverse layering watercolors. They're like the Schmincke Super Granulating. And I also have previously purchased the ones with shimmer in it, the mica granulating watercolors. So let's go ahead and unbox these. I didn't really see names, uh, but this one is 55 and this one's 53. Right here are the sets. We've got a gold brown, a red navy, a green violet. This one says ruby up purple, blue violet, and then a blue orange. Now let's review some other products from this brand. I got the mica layering ones right here. The granulation on these were pretty cool and it's shimmery. Now I have to be honest, I haven't really used these besides the picture I did originally because it's hard for me to work in these shimmery mica watercolors on my everyday projects, but they're really cool to play with. Um, and then I just made my own little palette here and that's what these look like. Very fun, but I'm not sure how practical they are. Now, I will be comparing these to my Schmitke Super Granulating Colors. I only have four of them. No, I have five of them, but we'll be comparing these to that. All right, let me do some swatches for you so we can start seeing how these look. Let's take a peek at these. This one is the Rubia Purple. I used a little bit too much water here, but you can see it's like an eggplanty maroon color that goes into purple. This one is very beautiful. This is the blue to violet. Very pretty. This reminds me of mermaid scales. This one turned out fantastic. This is that blue to orange. Mine looks a little more green to orange. There is a little bit of the light blue sticking through like a tealish color down here, but I would say this is more green to orange. This color here, green to violet, um, it, it looks a lot like this one, but I'm gonna say the purple, the violet is more violet color. Um, the, there's no green in here. It's like a navyish blue into a violet and then uh, some teal. There's three colors going on here actually. It's very pretty and I bought this set for this color because it looked, I'm gonna do an ocean scene with that. This one's really cool. It's the red to navy. You've got a little bit of red poking through here. Maybe a navy color here. This is very dark. I don't know, I wouldn't call it a navy. It's a very dark reddish gray that then granulates into this really pretty greeny blue and red and pink. This is a fantastic one. I like that one a lot. And then the last one I needed for my beach to go along with the water I'm doing, this is the gold brown. Yeah, I would say so. Very nice yellow browns, leaning a little more on the warmer side. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, let's compare these to a few colors I already own from the Schmicky Super Granulation brand. Like, I know these are laminated. Um, something to consider, this paper isn't as textured as the one the Supervision is on. You're going to see a little more granulation with these than you're going to see with these swatches. I don't think that these granulate any less. It's just a different kind of paper. All right, let's really compare these. And by the way, Schmicky brand, they're very expensive. You can buy them individual now, open stock, but before, maybe a couple months ago, you had to buy sets of them, and I think they were like $80. Um, this little set of three on Prime Day, I think it was $20 regularly. I think they're between 20 and 25. So a little more cost effective if you're interested in these kind of colors. Now, this is the Rubia to Purple. You can see it's a lot like the Tundra, Tundra Rose. A lot like it. It's enough that you don't need both of these. 
this is pretty much a duplicate now, but um, this is maybe a little cooler purple than this, but really these are very alike. Now, the Schmidtke Tundra Violet, I was expecting this blue to orange color to look just like this, but it doesn't. It doesn't look like that at all. In fact, it actually looks very sim similar to the Tundra Green. The Tundra Green has more of an earthy vibe going on. It's a grayish moss, olive green, and it granulates to this really pretty brownie orange. But I think you could probably get close to the same effect, depending on what you're up to. This was a little heavy. This didn't have as much color on it. But yeah, you're getting the same tones in here, I think. These are really similar. Now, as far as my other colors, this Shire Blue, I picked up this set. I picked up these Supervisions because this wasn't quite blue enough for me. It's very pretty. There is some blue in here, but it's pretty heavy on the green. So I'm very glad I got this one down here. This is going to be really good for my water. Now, I might throw this in with my water, but um, yeah, the Shire Blue was a little too green for me. And the other colors I got are not anything like these other swatches from Schmincke. All right, so I went ahead and made myself a little super granulating palette. Here are the colors I have in here, all swatched out. Now this is an indie brand. I forget where I got it. Here are these two that I thought were pretty similar. Maybe. Actually, the Supervision has a little more punch to it. This is a little more muted down here swatched out those don't look similar at all uh, this is a very bright green and a deeper orange this is a little more muted a little more subdued so yeah there's my little homemade super granulating palette it seems to be heavy on the purples and that's really by accident some of the supervision colors didn't come out true to their names but that's fine. I'll use them anyway. These are all very pretty and I am happy to have them. And I'm going to get to work on my beach water scene right now. I will post that on Instagram in a couple of weeks once I have that finished. I will have my Instagram link down below if you're interested in checking out some of my artwork. I don't always post my artwork on YouTube, but I have more of it on Instagram if you're interested to see what I do. Well, guys, that is my initial thoughts on the supervision diverse layering watercolors. They're pretty so far. Um, I'm going to start my project, my beach scene, and I will get to know them a little more, and I will post an update later on that. Comment down below if you have these and what you think about them. I always like to hear what other people think about art supplies, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!